Boya recently sent me one of their wireless microphone systems. It's the M1V2, and it goes for about $100. Now, you might recall that I reviewed their XM6 a while ago, and that's $130. And uh, it has a few features that this one doesn't, but this one has one feature that that one doesn't have. There is two of them. That's right, there's two transmitters for the price of well, maybe not for the price of one, but you get two transmitters and one receiver as compared to the XM6's one transmitter and one receiver. Now, I got to give you a warning. Whenever you're using two transmitters and one receiver, and I don't care which manufacturer it is, if you have the option to record either in mono or stereo, you're going to want to go with stereo. I was playing around with this the other day. You remember? Yeah. It was it was kind of a mess. I started recording in mono, but I didn't get the levels right. And Finn's microphone was way louder than mine. And it just, the volume was overwhelming. There was no way I was able to use that footage. So record in stereo if you're using two transmitters, like what we're doing now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing. He's a man of many words. Another reason you want to record in stereo if you're using two transmitters is the background noise. When you've got two microphones going and you're outdoors, you've got twice the background noise. Now, if you're in the studio, that might not be necessary, but you might need the ability to shut off one mic while someone else is talking. And if you've got all this background noise all blended into a mono signal, that could be a problem. Wouldn't you yeah. agree? I'd agree. Hey, let's all just talk. We'll I'm just talking. Talk. See, See, we're talking and I'm things talking. and problems love and talking. words. There's so many and trees here. Words. It's great. I love words. So that would be a mess if I couldn't shut his channel down in editing. <laughs> or, 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 or my channel. Wink. Now, there's not a lot of visual feedback with these. In fact, there's only a single LED light. Uh, now, that light will blink blue if it's not synchronized with the transmitter and receiver. Uh, it'll be solid blue if it's working okay. It'll be red if it's charging. It'll blink red if it's running out of battery. And it'll turn green if noise canceling is on. So that's a lot of things to remember with a single light. But it does seem to function just fine. I haven't had any problems with, uh, with having that as visual feedback yet. Now, what you don't have are meters. So you really don't know how loud things are unless you have meters on your camera or on your phone. So if you're using these with a camera, you probably have some audio meters and you can use those and it'll be fine. If you're using your phone, I don't recommend using the built-in app because it doesn't have meters. You're probably gonna wanna use a third-party video app just so that you can see how loud things are. Both the transmitter and receiver have charging ports on the sides, as you would expect. It's USB-C. The transmitter has a volume up and down buttons, and there are, I believe, seven steps of volume from minimum to maximum. And that handy LED will blink at you twice if you hit the maximum or the minimum, so you can get a sense of where your volume is set. The receiver unit has even fewer controls. It does have a, a mini jack headphone output, though, as well as the charger. And then it's got a regular audio output put for hooking up to your camera. It does come with a cable to hook into a camera or a separate one to hook into a phone. And of course, if you're using an iPhone, you're gonna need an adapter to go into the lightning port. It's been my experience that these transmitters can transmit from a pretty decent distance. In fact, they can transmit so far that you would probably never really use it that way because you, you can't see somebody's mouth moving when they're like 50 feet away or something like that. But we're gonna test it out anyway. You ready for this? Yeah. All right, why don't you just start walking? I'm gonna zoom in here. Can you hear me now? All right, he's gonna to move to the next station here. Can you hear me now? I'm talking. Can you hear it? Both transmitters come with dead cats, which is vital, which is essential if you are recording outdoors. The slightest breeze and you will hear rumbling. That's not just with these microphones. That's with any microphones outdoors. If you don't have a dead cat, your audio is dead, man, cat. The XM6 system came with a lavalier microphone, so if you didn't want the transmitter visible on you, you could run a lavalier mic under your shirt or something like that and uh, hide the transmitter discreetly somewhere, like in your pocket. Now, the M1V2 does not come with a lavalier mic, but it does come with an input. So if you have a lavalier mic or you pick up one, a cheap one for 10, 15, 20 bucks or something like that, then you can use that with these transmitters. We'll try that out back in the studio at a different time. 
Actually, there's one other feature that the M1 V2 has that the XM6 doesn't have. Did I get all those letters correct? I think so. I think so, okay, phew. Um, and that is noise canceling or noise reduction. Now, I think it's probably, to, no, there's cars going by. It would have been nice if we'd canceled that car. So I'm gonna turn on Finn's noise canceling here. And when you turn noise canceling on, the LED turns from blue to green. So noise canceling is engaged now. And uh, if, we, if I stop talking for a sec, is it absolutely quiet? Here, Finn, you say something too. Hello. I don't know if whispering will have an effect. And I assume that this is per transmitter. So if, go ahead and whisper. Finn's whispering very quietly and I'm talking. So I don't know if we'll be able to hear him or not. All right, so that's the noise canceling. We'll have to check that out back at the studio. Hey, I'm in the studio now with the M1 V2 unit. And as you can see, I've got a cable hooked up to the transmitter this time. That's because I have a lavalier plugged into it. You can see the lavalier right here on my shirt. It's plugged into the uh, radio transmitter, and then that's sending a signal to the receiver on the camera. This isn't a Boya made lavalier microphone. Uh, I don't happen to have one, but this is made by a company called Power Dewise. Uh, it's an inexpensive lavalier that does a pretty good job. I'll put a link to it in the video notes. I'll continue talking with the lavalier microphone just for a little bit, just to show you that it works, and then I'll switch back to the Boya transmitter microphone. Now, I've gotta be honest, I've had a few wireless microphone manufacturers send me product recently, and they were really not very good. The, the quality of, of the actual sound was bad, and it wasn't so much it wasn't so much the, the quality of the microphone itself, it was something to do with the way the signal was being turned into a radio signal and sent to the receiver. There was like grunge and distortion. I had this in two different sets of microphones. So I am really happy to hear, literally, that the M1V series sounds good. I mean, for the price, it sounds really good. And I'm not hearing any like weird radio distortion or things like that. And I do wanna talk about sound quality some more. So I need to unplug this lavalier microphone here. Okay, now we're not listening to the lavalier microphone. We're just listening to the Boya transmitter microphone. And I had mentioned earlier a previous system I had reviewed from Boya. It was the wireless system called the XM6. And that system sounded really good. It is more expensive. So I wanted to compare that system with this system so you could get a sense of it. Now, I don't own that system anymore, but I do have a clip I wanna play you. Only a YouTuber would come to a fork in a road or a trail and look in both directions and say, which way should I go? And then make that decision based on how well you looked with the light. Another reason you wanna record in stereo if you're using two transmitters is the background noise. When you've got two microphones going and you're outdoors, you've got twice the background noise. So to my ear, the XM6 seems to have more low end, but maybe not as high end, where it's the reverse with the M1V. It's a little crisper on the high end, but is maybe lacking a little bit in the low end. Both microphone systems sound really good. I would be happy to use either one of them. It's just a slightly different flavor of sound. The M1V system is an omnidirectional system. That means it picks up audio from all directions. And that's pretty common for wireless systems. And it's pretty common for lavalier microphone systems as well. By the way, the transmitter on the M1V series is really super light. It's, I don't think I've ever felt a transmitter this light before. And in in fact, I can't feel it on my shirt when I move around. It's, it's almost like it's not there. I mentioned the USB-C charging ports on the sides of the, the transmitter and receiver before. It turns out you could actually continue to record while you're plugged in and charging. And apparently you can also use the charging port of the receiver to charge your phone while you're filming and recording. Since the transmitters only have an LED on it, it's kind of hard to dial in the level settings. Fortunately, it remembers the settings from last time. So if you've got it kind of dialed into how you use it on a regular basis, it's gonna remember that. And it will remember whether you've turned noise canceling on or off as well. Now, as I've used this system, I have found that it's really easy to turn the noise canceling on and off accidentally. Uh, so always check that LED, make sure it's uh, only green if you want noise canceling. And also it's kind of easy to hit the volume controls up or down. So you gotta be, you gotta hold it from the right direction to make sure you don't do that. But that's a really minor issue. And after listening back to the noise canceling effect, I, I really can't recommend that. I, I thought it sounded really gritty and it was really degrading the audio. 
Um, it, maybe there's a use for it, but I don't think I would use it to create videos with. I'm just gonna keep the noise canceling turned off. So minor complaints aside, this microphone is a really good deal for the price because there's no digital distortion. There's no weird artifacts that I've heard in some other manufacturer's microphones. The fact that it has good sound and it has two transmitters in this price range is really impressive. I could see myself using the M1V system whenever I have an interview to do or, or even for solo work. Now, if your budget for a wireless system is a little bit more, you might wanna consider the XM6. It does have the metering. It might have a slightly better sound quality. It's got some other features. And I did review it along with a couple of other microphone systems. And you can see that review right there. 